Tim and I met 15 years ago or so. Um, we don't exactly remember meeting each other. There isn't an actual story I can tell because we met as kids, we grew up together. Um, as far as when he came into my life, he was kind of always there. We started to feel a connection. Hunter and I started to feel a connection around senior year of high school, maybe a little bit after that. Our relationship was like f friends, kind of always there with each other, built into, okay, now we're really close. Best friends, and then into the relationship, if that makes sense. We went to In-N-Out for our first like date-ish. And it wasn't so much like a first date, like I asked her out. We were hanging out as friends, and that was when I think we looked into each other's eyes and realized that this was not just we're at In-N-Out, we're, you know, dating. Okay, now we're friends, now we're into each other, now we're lovers, and now we're best friends too. So we've been officially dating for about almost five years. The definitive moment where I would say that I more into him and more infatuated. I wouldn't say that there was a definitive moment where I loved him. I feel like I've always known in my heart that he was supposed to be mine in a way. Like she's super smart, she's funny, she's sarcastic, she's so kind, she's such a sweet woman. I remember we were at Concordia and I was standing on a ledge and he was standing down by the ledge and I can tell you this is when I knew he loved me is because I turned around, I looked down, and he looked at me in a way that he would never looked at me before, which to me was really special, and I feel like then I knew that it was for certain that we were going to be together. My beloved Hunter Michelle, I vow this day to love you. I vow to love you by following Jesus, my Savior, and being obedient to the King of my heart, our marriage, and our home. Can you believe it, Timothy? Four and a half years of our lives we've spent together. <laughs> Well, long, longer than that, but now we stand before one another to pledge an, a commitment of everlasting love and marriage. Right here, right now, in this very moment, I make a promise to you that will last to the end of my time here on earth. There is nothing more beautiful and promising than Christ's love for us. I vow to love you as Christ loves the church and to give myself up for you as Jesus sacrificed himself for us. I vow to love you by providing and praying for you daily. I vow to love you in the valleys and in the mountaintops of life. I vow to love you by serving you faithfully in Christ. And I want nothing more than for my love for you to reflect his heart. When I look at you, I'm reminded of what grace, forgiveness, patience is. I'm reminded that love covers over a multitude of sin and that second chances are a real thing. I vow to love you and only you for as long as the Lord gives me life. I vow to love you by cherishing and nourishing your kind heart. I vow to love you by loyally defending your honor. I vow to love you by respecting your freedom in Christ. I vow to love you by forgiving you and by asking for your forgiveness. I am reminded that the Lord cares for me, especially when I do not deserve it. We have grown in so many ways individually and together the last several years. I've watched you blossom into a man who leads with strength and comforts with gentleness. You are my person and I am so thankful for you. I vow to love you, Hunter, the light of my life and the laughter of my soul. With my whole heart, I love you, Hunter. And today, I make a promise, sealed with a kiss, never shall I leave, never shall I cleave, I shall love you always, even to the end of days. With those words that I wrote for you a few years back, I promise my heart to you forever, Hunter. What God has joined together, let no man put us under. All right, let's go get some fro, yo. I have the pleasure of announcing to you for the first time, Timothy and Hunter Bechtel. <laughs> Tim, it says here, uh, you can kiss your bride.
Taste the dirt as I hit the ground You were there, you were there through it all Now, we want to thank everybody for coming out and celebrating this time. Marriage is a time of celebration, and really that's what it's about this evening. Uh, we hope that you enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm not going to sit here and give a charge to Tim and Hunter. Um, Hunter and I have this very strong relationship with one another, I should say. And you can see they're laughing because they know what that means. Two years ago, April 22nd, five of us decided to cram into Tim's Ford Explorer. Road trips, I think, are a great test of character. They speak of long suffering. They speak of love. If you can exist in a car for eight and nine hours with five people, I think that's a testimony to the love they have. I mean, I'm up here as best man, so obviously it worked out. There's a verse in the Bible that has always just stood out to me whenever I think of Hunter, and that comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 17. And it says, As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Hunter has always exceeded the expectations, at least to me, what this verse talks about how a friend should be. And it's why I'm also just so confident that she's going to be in great hands because Tim, you're an exact reflection of this verse. Tim and Hunter, Shabbat Shalom. You married on the Sabbath, so maybe a Sabbath blessing would be appropriate. May the Lord protect and defend you. May he always shield you from shame. May you come to be in Israel a shining name. I'm a big believer in adventure and following your dreams, and I know these two are as well. And Hunter, I'm sure, is wondering why my brother stole her glasses. Well, I stole their glasses because I have something for them that I think speaks of Yosemite and something that I give Hunter here a hard time all the time of her love for Hydro Flask. So I have two Hydro Flasks for them to toast. So if we can raise the glass, I want to toast Hunter and Tim, my brother. Tim wanted to take me out to lunch when he wanted to uh, ask for Hunter's hand. And so we sat down and then I pull out a list piece of paper this big and I said, okay, Tim, let's start going down the list. And you know what? He faithfully sat there and we talked about a lot of different things. And, you know, he's been a part of our lives for a long time. I've coached him in basketball. He's coached beside me in basketball and other things. And, so I know Tim really well. You guys are a testament of what a marriage should be like. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach in the name of Jesus the Messiah. Tim and Hunter, don't be ashamed to pray in front of people. Don't be afraid to pray with people. This world is desperate for the model and the example. I know you guys are going to finish great because you guys have this God as the center of your marriage. So I just want to encourage you guys to continue loving each other and to continue to just be there for one another, uplift each other, and always keep Christ as the center. We wish you 
the best. You both know what we hope for you and just keep on that path with the Lord. Let him guide your steps. <laughs>